Hey guys, I am back with another YouTube video after a two year hiatus. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to crop in Affinity Designer 2. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we have our image right here that we're going to go ahead and crop in order to demonstrate the vector crop tool in Affinity Designer 2. And we're going to go ahead and select your vector crop tool on the left side of the screen, as you can see right here, where you see my mouse waving around. So go ahead and select that. Uh, there are several ways you could do you could crop the vector image um so right now i have the image not as like a actual vector but i have it as a you know workable affinity designer file so we're gonna go ahead and crop this uh working file out and it's pretty easy so uh there's several ways you can do it so if you want to crop out the whole thing so you're going to go ahead and select all of your you know your layers and then hit uh, Control g to group it and then with your cropping tool selected you can see that you have your boundaries and your handles that you can manipulate so you can go ahead and grab this guy and you as you can see it go it starts cropping the image and then it's also not as a what do you call it? it's it's not a permanent like thing it's a non-destructible uh layer because if you go back up you go ahead and you know you get your image back so that's pretty cool and then also now there's also like say you only want to crop out like a certain color or something you could actually do that too so you go so you can go ahead and ungroup your layer by selecting your group and then holding Control shift and then pressing g and uh, as you can see you can go ahead and select either the whole thing and you could see like it selects all as you can see on the right hand side it selects a lot of your uh layers and then you could start kind of individually playing around with this and see what it's going to crop out but that's also kind of hard to know like what exactly you want to grab because like if you zoom in closely you have like so many handles for so many of the details of the image or of the file so there's also another way you could actually do this so you could just kind of zone in in one area so as you can see, I have my layers, um, you know, labeled. And so say I only want to crop out the color layer. So you're going to go ahead and select all your layers that you're not going to crop out. And then hit lock unlock. So that way it'll lock the layers you have selected. And you could tell that it's locked because they have this little lock icon next to the dot right here in your uh, layers panel. And so now that you have that selected, you're not going to be able to edit those layers. So now what you could do is just, you know, go ahead and select here, crop tool again, select the whole thing. Say you just want to crop out the eyes or the color of the eyes. So you can go ahead and go like this and you can see it starts cropping out the eyes only. It will not affect, like the tool will not grab any of the other layers. So as you can see, it is not grabbing my highlights right here because I have my highlight layer locked and it won't grab my shadows because I, again, I have my shadows layer locked. And so now you can just grab like the individual color of the eye and boom, because as you could tell on my image or in my layers, I have the eye right here. And you can see that it's the crop tool is working on this specific uh, layer just because you could see the ellipse right here where it says rectangle. That's how you could tell because if you do this like, on the other side, it'll add that same mask to this um, left side eye. Okay. So that's how you could crop a vector image, you know, in Affinity Designer 2 without, you know, in order, like, say if you have a, a big file and you just want to crop out some some little parts of it, that's how you could do it pretty easily. And it, so this crop tool is pretty cool. It doesn't work just on, you know, a picture. So you can crop a picture, but it works with the vector as well as Affinity Designer 2 um, file. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope this was useful, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.